so hey everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely well so in this video we are doing uh, one of the most uh, i cannot say famous question but for beginners it is one of the most trickiest question i have ever came across uh, like so uh, if i tell you what is the difficulty level of this question is so this question difficulty level is 1200 right and it's on code forces so you can just try it out you can find the link in the description so let's solve this question first so what's the question name so question is cheap travel question name is cheap cheap travel uh, but don't take it otherwise so yeah so question is uh, n has recently started commuting by subway and we know that one ride subway ticket cost a rubles besides n found out that uh, found out that she can buy a ticket a special ticket for m rides and he, she can buy it several times and the special ticket cost b rubles and did the math she will need to buy the subway n times help n tell her what is the minimum sum of money she will have to spend to make n rides so uh, let me let me just give you an overview of the question and then i will you explain you algorithm how can we solve it right and each and everything i will also try run the algorithm on sample test cases so Uh, there is a girl named N, and he is just commuting by commuting by subway, uh, by subway, and he want to ride a subway which cost a rubles, which cost a rubles for a single ticket, right? For one ride, it cost a rubles, but 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 if if she buys M, if she buys a special ticket, if she buys a special ticket. that cost b rubles for m rides which were so we have given we are given uh, m rides and b rubles in our sample test case so don't worry about that and n did the math so what we what she wants to know is she wants to ride n times and she wants to know what is the minimum rubles or minimum money she have to spend for n rides right so without wasting in time let's just see our algorithm and yeah wait for the algorithm and wait for the code i will be showing you the complete code and the complete algorithm so let's move to our algorithm all right guys so now let's understand our question so in a let's take a sample test case where we have given n is equal to we are given n is equal to 6 and that means we have to do total 6 rides so these are the total rides which we have to do uh along with this we have given m is equal to 2 and b is equal to 2 so it means that for two rides for two rides we have to spend two rubles we have to spend two rubles and we have given a is equal to 1 so it means that for one ride for one ride we have to spend one ruble right so now we have, what we have to do is we have to find that how many minimum number of rubles we need to spend to do n rides to do n rides all right so let's understand what we, how we can do so if you look carefully what we have is for one ride we have to spend one ruble right and for two rides we need to spend two rubles because as you can see for m is equal to 2 and b is equal to 2 which means that for m rides for m rides we need to spend b rubles so for two rides we need to spend two rubles because it is yeah given in the uh, our sample test case so if we consider this for uh, using a rubles using a rubles and using b rubles so for a rubles we need to spend one ride one ruble for one ride and as like uh, for two rides for two rides two rubles and similarly for two rides two rubles and for four rides four rubles so it is super clear to you that for every ride we need to spend one ruble so it's pretty easy for six rides for six rides we need to spend six rubles we need to spend six rubles right so yeah but 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 if i give you another sample test case where m and a are different so yeah let's read and let's understand another sample test case all right guys so we are we have taken another sample test case so let's understand this so 
we have given n is equal to 5 so n is equal to 5 so it means that we have to do total 5 rides so we have to do total 5 rides all right and for every ride for one ride it's it costs us two rubles because here a is equal to two so for one ride it costs two rubles okay here we are given m is equal to two and b is equal to three which means that which means that for two rides for two rides we need to spend three rubles okay so now we have to do uh, we have to uh, find the minimum number of rubles we need to spend for five rides so consider two things right so we have like two we can have two cases over here case zero and we can have case one what is the case one or what is the case two at max at max we can use m by two times right at max we can use m by m two times so suppose we have used m one time which costs uh, us three doubles and we have used m another time which uh, cost us three doubles because m means two rides so two rides plus two rides is equal to four rides so at total we have to do five rides so we cannot use this another time so now we have to use our single which is which costs us a rubles so a is our two so yeah this is our one right so how much it is giving is so three plus three is equal to six plus three is e plus two is equal to eight so it giving us eight rubles okay so now what we uh, another case what we can have is we can have m we can use m rubble m tickets one time so it will cost us two rides and what we can do is we can use three times our a rubble so a which is cost two two rubles and another a which cost us two rubles and another a which cost us two rubles so yeah these are the three rides and this is two rides so total number of rubles which we have is uh this these are six and plus three is equal to nine rubles so you can clearly see that we are getting a trouble so it is obvious that we need to we have to use m as maximum as we can if 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 listen carefully if the if the value of m if the value of m multiply with b is less than equal to a so uh, if you don't get it don't worry i will try run the algorithm and then you will then you will can understand better so we can have another case but it's like very obvious so we can have another case that we can use we can use every uh, so we can use either we can use every m we can use every m if if it depends on the it depends on the number of rides so here number of rides are even uh, are odd and the uh, and uh, m is equal to 2 which is even so for even for odd we cannot use m so we can at most use 2 but suppose we have n is equal to 6 we have n n is equal to 6 so we can use it at most three times and what we can do is another case is we can use a six times right we can use a six times so these can also be the cases so yeah please do consider these cases also so now let's understand our algorithm how it works it's not algorithm it's just an observation by the way so the first step of our algorithm is like this so what is this equation so let's understand this so what i did is i just multiplies m with a right and what does it mean i checked that does is less than equal to b so let's understand this so i have m tickets right so m rights right so a special ticket cost m right so suppose we have m as 2 and suppose we have b as 2 and a is equal to 1 right which is uh, i have also explained you in our first sample test case so if if listen carefully if the total number if if for m rides if for m rides we have to find if for m rides we have to spend a rebels if for for m rides we have to spend a rebels and for total cost like total cost for spending a rebels for m rides cost us b rebels or less than equal to b rebels then what we have to do is we have to print we have to we have to print n into a which means this 
for every for every ride we use a doubles so let's understand with our first sample sample test case so our first sample test case is nothing but 6 2 1 and 2 so this is n n this is m this is a and this is b so what i did is i simply checked the does for m rides remember this thing for m rides for m rides if we if we choose if we spend if we spend a rebels for m rides right so if we spend a a rebels for m rides does it cost us equal to b rebels or less than equal to b rebels if it costs us equal to b rebels we can print our n for we can print we can do n rides for we using a rebels and if 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 it costs less than b rebels then also we can use a rebels for every ride right so like if uh, for every ride here for one ride for using a rebels for one ride we are getting one we use one rebel and for for using uh, like now using suppose if we use b rebels so for two rides for two rides we are using two rebels so what i did is i these are for m rides these are for m rides so m is two here so what i did is and this is for single ride for one ride we use one rebel so what i did is for i checked that does for m rides for m rides if i use a rebels does is equal to b like the both are costing similar so if we if this is the case i'll simply print for uh, i simply use a rebel and if the if if the if this is less than if this is less i'll then also i will simply use a rebels but but if this if this is not the case what we need to do is we need to take maximum of m rebel or m rides right so we have to take maximum uh, from m rides so how can we do that we can simply divide n uh, m by n and we but we are for it is obvious that uh, they are using b rebels so i will simply multiply it with b and if if the if the if some uh, are left like suppose we have n is equal to 5 and m is equal to 2 so we can use 2 uh, suppose we used we can only use 2 2 times so for 2 uh, if we use 2 times we are getting 4 rights we are getting 4 rights so we are left with one right we are left with one right so what we do is we uh, we will simply take n modulo m into a because a single ride goes a rebels and if this is minimum than this i will simply take this and if this is not the case i will simply take b so that's how the algorithm works and i'll just show you the code so yeah let's move so guys what i did is i simply took the input as n m a and b and i simply check this m cross m into a is less than equal to b if this is the case i simply use a rebels for every ride and i simply print n into a but 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 if this is not the case what i did is i simply use the maximum time i simply use the m tickets for maximum times and because it using b it it costs b rebels i simply multiply it with b and i use the remaining i for for remaining rides i use a rebels and that's why i use it i multiply it with a i multiplied it with a and if this is minimum than b i simply would i simply use a rebels and if this is not the case i simply use the b rebels so yeah that's how the code works so i hope you like the video if you like the video please do subscribe the channel and yeah if you subscribe the channel it motivates me a lot so if you have any doubt you can uh, ask me in the comment section so and the telegram channel link is also in the description so please do join the telegram because there i will like providing you the every competitive stuff which, which you need to ace the competitive programming so yeah that's in the video guys i hope you like the video i will meet in next video till then bye bye